UPF had its inaugural assembly on September 12, 2005 at the Lincoln Center in New York City. Reverend Sun Myung Moon delivered the keynote address. In closing, I ask you to devote your best efforts for the development and the success of the Universal Peace Federation. Thank you. Thank you. After UPF was founded, there was a series of world tours where the message of UPF was taken literally to every corner of the world. That it is time for all nations and religions to break down their barriers. Through this, the era of one family under God will arrive and last forever. UPF is God's cherished hope. The founders spoke repeatedly of an international peace highway connecting the world from Santiago, Chile to London, across the Bering Strait, what has come to be known as the Peace Road, and a vision for a renewed United Nations. UPF emerged on the foundation of decades of programs initiated by its founders and carried out in all parts of the world. Its growth and development over the past 15 years has been dramatic, if not miraculous, owing in large part to the work of tens of thousands of ambassadors for peace, peace activists, and volunteers who draw from all nationalities, religions, ethnicities, cultures, and traditions, bound together by a vision of peace, a vision of humanity as one global family under one God. The range of programs over the years has been both broad and expansive, from character education to strengthening the family, from conflict prevention to conflict resolution, from poverty reduction to environmental stewardship, from interfaith dialogue to youth service initiatives, from support of the United Nations to partnerships with the African Union and a wide range of international organizations and NGOs. UPF has a global, multinational, multi-faith network of more than 100,000 ambassadors for peace who support and contribute to the mission and works of UPF. UPF's highest award, the Leadership and Good Governance Award, has been given to distinguished leaders the world over. The World Summit Series is UPF's flagship program involving the highest level of leaders from around the globe, including current and former heads of state and government, to address the critical challenges facing humanity. Very appropriate that we are here on the 100th anniversary of Reverend Moon's birth, because out of the devastation of World War II and the Korean War, he and his bride found the courage to dream that they could achieve something. And it is amazing what they have created together. Programs have been successfully held in Korea, the USA, Senegal, South Africa, Nepal, Cambodia, and other nations. The most recent structural innovation within UPF has been the creation of a set of associations dedicated to collaboration among leaders from various fields. These pillar associations are The International Summit Council for Peace was initiated by UPF co-founder Dr. Hak Jahan Moon in 2019 on the occasion of World Summit 2019 in Seoul, Korea. ISCP is an international network of current and former heads of state and government. The International Association of First Ladies, IAFLP, 
a project of the ISCP affirms and uplifts the unique role of First Ladies in contributing to peace and development. IAFLP brings together current and former First Ladies from throughout the world, drawing upon their experience and wisdom as women leaders and as role models who serve their countries in significant ways. The International Association of Parliamentarians for Peace, IAPP, is a worldwide association of parliamentarians which provides a forum to bring their experience and wisdom to bear in the search for solutions to our world's problems. UPF maintains that any successful strategy for peace must take into account the spiritual dimension of our human identity, experience and interactions. Based on this worldview, UPF initiated the Interreligious Association for Peace and Development, IAPD. The International Media Association for Peace, IMAP, represents a worldwide professional network of journalists who support a socially responsible and moral media. IMAP recognizes the vital role that journalists play in providing objective reporting to foster an informed citizenship. The International Association of Academicians for Peace, IAAP, is a global interdisciplinary academic initiative aimed at contributing toward the realization of a world of lasting peace. IAAP is dedicated to building professional networks for academicians to foster a world of peace. The International Association for Peace and Economic Development, IAED, affirms the role of businesses, business leaders and investors to make the world a better place. In early 2020, UPF convened a Rally of Hope featuring dignitaries including Pastor Paula White, Cambodia Head of State His Excellency Hun Sen, President Macky Sall of Senegal, former Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper, former U.S. Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, former U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, and many others. I believe that the Universal Peace Federation and its broad set of partnerships in the realms of politics, religion, academia, media, economy, arts, women and youth serve as a good mother. I believe the Universal Peace Federation will become a cornerstone to build lasting peace around the world and the heavenly unified Korea based on interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. Celebrating 15 years, UPF will continue to grow through service dialogue and collaboration, guided by its spiritual and moral vision of one family under God.